Egyptians built the pyramids. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. And we have sent men to the moon. But today, three young men dare to achieve something that has never been achieved before. As they try to record a podcast from a music festival. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake, Joe and Junior Boy are out to attempt this very feat here today. Coming to you live from the Ozone Reserve for the season's season opener. Please welcome the Mac Pack. Boys, boys, boys! Brother Mingo. Brother Mingo. How are we? Oh, it's good to be here. It's, it's great fantastic to be, here. to be here. We're fantastic. down here at the Ozone Reserve That's it. for Seasons Season Opener. Um, it's very exciting to be here. The crowds are slowly making their way through. The doors yeah, open at 3 o'clock. Yeah, they definitely are. Good to see people getting down here early. Absolutely. I'm surprised how many punters are through the doors. There are a lot of cups getting shared, which I appreciate early. Yep, yep. We're building a bit of a crowd here. As soon as we click record, they yeah. all started to count. We've been sitting here for a while, but the moment the microphones are on and the voices start to get shared, yep. the people That's flock. when the magic happens. And That's we'll definitely it. get some of them down down to be interviewed in in a couple, what, 20 minutes, half hour? Yeah, in a couple of seconds. We've got a few segments specifically <laughs> for the punters. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what, can, what can people expect here at Seasons Well, obviously, today. you know, there's the main attraction, us. And then <laughs> we've got, um, they've got a lot of stuff on. So they obviously got the two main stages. Yep. They've got Silent Disco, uh, Karaoke. They've got the Go Party Bus. The Go Party Bus Rave looks cave, massive. Which they've built out. Yeah, I'm very nervous for the Go Party Bus. We heard about it on the Seasons episode. So the Go Party Bus, the way that it's set up at the moment is that there's a genuine party bus. The one that you would take to get to yep, Seasons. Yep, your classic Go just, Party Bus. Just parked out on the lawn within the, within the area. Yep. And then up the back, the back seat. It's just a DJ booth. Fucking no. Fucking no. I'll be in there. I'll be in The inbuilt smoke detector. I'll be in there in a few hours. Yeah. Smoke detector's in the middle of the in the middle of the bus. Yeah. So basically, anyone and everyone can just spam that button, to the you can't even see anyone no. sitting next to you. No. It's a little bit yeah. terrifying for the DJs. There apparently is um a main entry and a main exit, and they may be the same <laughs> point <laughs> of the bus, unfortunately. Which isn't up to safety regulations, but we, that's not that's us. All right. That's alright. That's not for us. Right. Hey, it passed the test. Here <laughs> it we passed are. the test. That's Indeed right. it did. That's right. Junior yes. Boy, obviously, we kicked things off here at 3 o'clock today. Yep. There was a little bit of pre-set up that obviously had to take place. Yep, got course. a beautiful tan. We got a few banners. We got the merch. Yep. Got the cameras. We got some fantastic camera boys mm-hmm. who are looking <laughs> after us today <laughs> as well. Yeah. <laughs> You decided that, you know, arguably the busiest week we've had. Yeah, probably. Because we had we had a double up Thursday, Friday. Yep, interviewing the, the comedians. Yeah, we're we coming the, down here to see. It's probably the biggest episode we've ever done. Oh, 100%. Yep. Even last night, we were down here setting everything up. Had quite a large evening with the boys who run yep. the seasons, who were on the podcast only a couple of weeks ago. Yep. Junior Boy decided that a priority of his today, rather than getting down early, being prepared and setting up was instead to go one of his mates' place, Kate, who has also been on the podcast. He's standing behind the camera at the moment. And go and get a fresh trim. I had to. I had. To, it had to be done because you know, obviously, we've got three cameras set up here. We do. I've already seen a fair few phones come out. Yes. We can't be lacking. You want. You want to be looking good. Yeah. We can't be lacking on the haircuts. This is kind of the moment to shine on the mullet, <laughs> and I think. Because of how short it is, my skull is shining. It is. I guess yes. you could say, yes. It's but looking good. Once you get those headphones off, they didn't we're able to really That see. is something I was going to mention. The fact that you've got the headphones on is you can't necessarily see oh, the fuck. fact that you've had a <laughs> fresh trim. Yes. Um, but we do have fresh headphones on as well. So yes. there's something in that. <laughs> um, how was the cut? Because it did end up making us quite a little bit later. Yeah, a little bit. On yeah. arrival than we had planned, which is a pattern that seems to be emerging with our probably our anytime we go anywhere, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We <laughs> so came we came here last night. We were meant to come down at six thirty to set up. We arrived at probably close to eight thirty, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
still got the job done. But again, I thought today we were going to get down nice and early, especially to make good on last week, the last night's promise on being here yep, early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we rocked up what, an hour uh, late? Yeah. Well, I flicked <laughs> through a message to you this morning, basically going, what time are you guys going to pick me up? And Joe went, just whenever Riley's done... Getting, getting, getting his hair cut, yeah, he's going down well, to the old barber. It wasn't actually meant to take as long as it did, because obviously, you know, we have a bit of a routine, Cade and I, and Cade does with all the boys, because he cuts out all of our hairs. But, um, you know, I went, I messaged him last night while we are at here, yep. <laughs> till 1am, odd, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, mate, you like, can I come over tonight? Like, how late oh, can I Oh, for cuddles over? or yeah. for the haircut? A cheeky of, link. I was going to go a bit of both. Okay. Hoping to get some vapping for the day as well. Nice. But, um... <laughs> but how'd it go? How'd it go? What, what ended up um, happening? Oh, well, yeah. Was, so I, I got there this morning. He, he said, come at 9.30. And I yep. was like, oh, reaching. Anyway, I went to sleep at 4.30. Anyway, got here. At, got, got got to his at 10. Got there a bit late. But um, what I found out on the way in, he was said, oh, my mum's using the broom that we usually use because she's a hairdresser. Yeah, okay. she's running her actual business. Yeah, she's making money. It's and you've never had a haircut from the trained professional. No, no, no. You've no. just gone to the street punter himself. That's Na- it. Natural talent. You support local. Support local, support yeah. Local. And, Underground. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so then I get there and he's like, "Oh, mum's mum's got the room booked out. So yeah, we, we're gonna have to sit sit on the on the tiles out the front." And I was oh, like, bit of a shocker, but like I'm already here. It needs Curb, to be done. Curbside cuts with Kate gets her own. And I'm like saying it. to him, I'm like, "Mate, like I need to get going. Like, kind of ten minutes ago. Yeah, <laughs> can we get this trim? Like, I don't care how dusty it is, just get it done." And he's like, All right. And then, so he pulled out these um, portable clippers. Yep. Yep. Like battery tower. Yeah. Started on the right side. Didn't get to the fading, but cuts like the. You know the zero on the in yep. the bottom a bit, zero point five, then goes to the one. But there isn't much fading going on yet. Okay. Yeah. So he's taken it from a zero point five to like a three to like a ten or whatever it is on top of yeah, the yeah. And then um he goes, oh shit, the clippers are dead. Oh right, okay. Oh so I'm stuck there in no man's land. With half a haircut. With a fuck the haircut, <laughs> and I'm gonna be late to season. So the boys are waiting for me. And I'm like, fuck, what do I do? You can't necessarily finish up the hairdressers if they haven't finished the job. You can't, As you said, you can't leave with half a haircut. Yeah. You're there for the whole hog or you're there for none of it? Yeah, that's it. So I was there for the whole hog and I just got the, the late charge. But we're here now. The festival started, what, 20 odd minutes ago? Yeah. Yep. You can probably hear it in the background. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd enough. be fucking the surprised s- if you can't. The scariest, <laughs> the scariest part about um, hearing in the background right now is that I reckon it's at 50% volume. Yeah. Well, the music. Yeah. What? yeah. So is our talent. So, oh. <laughs> you know, we're on par for I've par. Got fucking what mis- I'm really worried about is the um the YouTube monetization with the <laughs> with the music playing. We're oh, gonna get fact. sometimes we okay to get a copyright claim on the we're gonna, uh, get, a, we're gonna get a couple on the songs we do, but you know, very rarely is it actual full just other people's music. <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, yeah. <laughs> the whole thing, the whole songs. <laughs> That's um, dead set yeah. what it comes down to. That should be good fun. But yeah, a lot went into the planning the day. Yeah. What went in for you boys though? Because you guys kind of went off in your own tails. I was focusing on haircuts, but you guys yeah, went off in we your own tails. we were out there organising actual <laughs> things yeah. you needed for the day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for example. As silly as it may seem. So we've obviously got a massive banner here, which we would have shared on our socials. And yeah, then sure anyone say, that's yeah. walking past, we've got a lot of people walking past at the moment admiring the sign itself. Because at the moment, if you take a photo of us perched up here, Yep. Recording the podcast, you go in the running to win VIP upgrades oh, and free drink tickets. Must be very nice. Which is exactly what people are after. Of course. Um, but the actual sign itself to get made, obviously I've designed the thing with a yes. fair bit of assistance and coordination from you, Kings. Thank you, creative designer. But the actual supply itself, we headed down to Officeworks. Shout out to the team at Officeworks again. Support local. Shout out, my boys. Shout Support that Office global conglomerate. Um but, it, yeah, I don't know. It was a warm day. It was last weekend we went down there, Joey and I. Mm-hmm. And um, there, there was a lass that was in front of us, right? Yeah, so pretty pretty busy in office. A lot of folks working there. A lot Heaps. of people, still a lot of people there. Um, we're, up, we're going up to the um, the people who do the printing. Yeah. You know, the, the backbone of office work, if of I course. say so myself. <laughs> yeah, of course. And we're up there, you know, we're waiting. There's only one person in front of us. We're like, oh, fucking, too easy. We'll be out here in bloody two flips of a lamb's tail or whatever. So we go up there, we're waiting, 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 we're having a bit of chit chat. And then obviously another thing about office works is I don't know if it's all of them, but you don't get any reception in there. I don't know what's going on that. So <laughs> me and Jake, we actually had to talk. It's the one in Coburn, right? Yeah. 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 yeah so we Coburn's actually had to whack. we actually had to talk because we couldn't get any uh, reception. Yeah, we know we just text each other. <laughs> yeah, so we're just, you know, moseying on, take, taking our time, waiting to yeah. get served. And we noticed the There's the a lady in front. The lady in front of us. Yep. She's she's been waiting there for a while. She's like been served, the guy's like doing the printing or whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then she starts like, lean- she's, she's really leaning on the counter. She was she's gyrating. Also, she's she was also gyrating wearing on the counter. What's gyrating? 
Um, Shaking. Yeah, a bit of humping. A bit of hump action seems yeah. to take place. Wait, right? wait. It's just a customer? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. we thought maybe she was... Having fun. Had some... <laughs> <laughs> what is we're the like, deal here? Can we get discounts as well? If we hump this thing. <laughs> we're like, maybe it's like a nervous thing or something like that, and she's just like not having a good time, like sick of waiting yeah. and just like getting agitated and fidgeting. Yep. It was very warm as well. I must admit, we're in a basically big tin shed. She's got a face mask, which I didn't think we were still doing that, but she's wearing one of those. Well, she's I got think a, I know the reason for that, but we'll get to that later. She's got a long jacket on, denim jacket, oh. denim jeans. She's got rocking the double, double denim. denim. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit, warm, <laughs> bit warm for that. And she's there to get her wedding uh, certificates. Menus, whatever the fuck you do. Yeah, no, she married. had like bingo cards for prize yeah. bridal shower games. Cool. And then so I was like, oh fuck. She starts gyrating on the counter, and I was a little bit nervous at that point. I thought maybe she has something wrong with her. It yeah. looked like she was having a bit of a fit, okay. but I wasn't sure if she just had um, a, di- a disability yeah, yeah, of yeah. sorts, and I didn't want to get too involved. Yep. I've sort of given Joey a bit of a look and gone, well, we've both clocked that she's done it, but we don't want to get involved, obviously, because it's not, it's yeah, not, you not don't the nicest people, thing. Yeah, yeah. So we, we sort it, of take a step back. We're like, we're going to. We yeah, don't want to get into her space. Let her go, yeah. yeah. And then within seconds, she leans on the counter still mm-hmm. and just starts to sort of slide down it on the on a right yeah, angle. a bit of a lean. And with that, she just hit the fucking deck. <laughs> yeah. I've, seen her, I've seen her start to slide down it, and I've gone in for the bit of a rescue, you know. Oh, J-Mo. Well, you know, we, we also yeah? talk about the everyday hero. This <laughs> was do. a great opportunity oh. where we had... The chance and to, to cement ourselves. The chance to be the everyday hero. And how'd you go? Well, she really concussed herself because <laughs> yeah. I didn't catch her too flash, but she went down in quite Did a you actually, heat. Like, oh, I grabbed her hand. by the shoulder, like I sort of caught her fall, but oh she God. was still doing a bit of shaky yeah, stuff. Yeah, she yeah. slammed And while was she doing that, she knocked her head back. Like, Real hard. On the, on the, back, on the floor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and they're like concrete oh, yeah. floors as well. They're D- not Genuine floorboards. industrial <laughs> shit. Um, <laughs> she, wasn't, she wasn't too flash, but... Fuck. Everyone come over, helped her out. Yeah, everyone comes around. When well, the yeah. chick comes and gives her a sparkling, sparkling water. water, she's just seen her go down. Oh, this chick needs a water. So she's run past the fridge, <laughs> grabbed spark. the first thing she saw. It's the Mount Franklin lightly sparkling. sparkling. Yeah. And then one of the guys, the guy actually helping her, he yeah. looks at her and he goes, Sparkling water? Really? Like, yeah. all right, a lot to you do. Probably not the time Very or place nice. or scenario, but she seems like she's fine. Hopefully, she had an absolutely lovely wedding. Yeah. Yes, but so I doubt fully. I doubt her wedding is going better than our day is at season. Of course not. We're so excited to have a few people on board, and when we come back after this little break, yep. we hope to have a few absolute legends and get involved because I've got yes. quite a big announcement to make. Oh, oh my shit. Gosh. When we come back initially. Oh, my gosh. I mentioned it last night to a few of the boys, and they were quite stunned. Oh, yes. And I reckon a few of our listeners will be too. Here we go. All right, Jake, what's this big reveal that uh, you teased? Oh, boy, I'm excited. Well, it came up last night. It's something that I've obviously been aware of for quite a bit of time. Yep. You boys are a bit of party animals yourselves. Don't mind it. Don't I, mind it. I'm a bit of a sports head, and I and I like my musicians, but if I'm going to go see a musician, I'm going to go see the musician. Yep. I'm fortunate a enough solo to, act, man. I'm fortunate enough to be going away to go and see Sam Fender, my favourite artist. Very, yes. In very a, ritzy, <laughs> going only, to Sydney and Melbourne. Maybe. Must um, be nice. Must so that's be nice. pretty exciting in itself. Yep. But that's sort of how I operate. I'm not a big festival guy, and yep. when I say that, I must admit, this right here, right now, Seasons Ozone, the kickoff for Seasons, yes, is yes. the first festival that I've ever been to. Oh! Holy shit. Hey, and how old are fuck? you, Jay? <laughs> I, I am 25, nearly 26. Age reveal. <laughs> and you've never been to a festival ever. No, this, so is, you, the first. These, this is the first. Oh, I guess you're not wearing a wristband at the moment. But, so you've never donned a festival wristband ever? No, no, I can't say that I have. That's fucked. It, it, it hasn't come from... <laughs> and that seems to be the... Why is that? Is Again, there, is there a, have you been avoiding you? or have you just never found the opportunity? Do your he friends not go? He happened? doesn't cop the invite. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Maybe there's a common denominator here. <laughs> the invites come in thick. They come in fast. Oh, here yeah, I like that. And the opportunities <laughs> yes, are always there. It's almost, a, it's a bit of an opt-out clause at the minute. So like obviously my mates who hopefully will be joining us in a, in a matter yes, of minutes hopefully, here hopefully. on the podcast. Oh, yes. They often attend these music festivals. You boys often attend these music festivals. Yep. Of course, got all the boys coming down today. I have a lot of people. I have a lot of friends. Who attend nice, nice. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Full Let's stop. Um, who attend these music festivals and such, but it's never been something that I've been... You're a bit more low-key. I am. Yeah. I am. I'd much prefer to just have a, have a cruisy day at the beach or go play golf, hit balls around, drink some piss, go to the cricket. I'd watch five days of cricket rather yeah, than come God, to music that sounds festivals. amazing. I, mean, I, mean, I don't know if it's the crowd element the or if thing. it's just the laxness. Because what I don't understand is, like, I've only been out, like, drinking with you a few times now, Jay. Yeah, this comes into it. I'm not, I know what but you're But what about I've to say. noticed is that every time you go out, especially if anyone remembers the Street X Golf Day, yeah. 
Jake gets like his ride off every time. Yeah. He's like ride off drunk, which yeah. is like yeah. kind of a bad way to be. But it's like when it you is. go, you go, go hard. hard. Sometimes but, uh, I do wonder maybe because you haven't had those big extravagant days of drinking. That maybe, you know, you're not accustomed to it. You can't handle yourself like me and Riley. Yeah. I couldn't disagree more. I, <laughs> <laughs> off the top. You're, if you and I went fucking drink for drink, you'd bow out early. We've all seen the, long, the world's longest midi. <laughs> um, we love a world's longest yeah. midi. Oh, hopefully we see a few of those today from, oh, from the big Joe stick. Um, but I don't know. It's just never been something that has been on my agenda. So, not, and if it's not... I'm I'm sort of if it's not all about me I don't really want to know about I've it. I've noticed. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you're here today. <laughs> exactly. So when well, the uh, the invitation came from Jared and Tay to be a part of seasons in a capacity that saw us both on the map, you let him take your virginity. Quite heavily <laughs> involved. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Plus you let him. You and then they invited me <laughs> to seasons as well, <laughs> yeah. which was quite exciting. Hell yeah. No, that's that's sick because like, I mean, my first festival was Seasons Ozone last year. Oh wow. Which was the. Obviously, almost shit show, but they persevered. Yes, and yeah. it became an epic day for everyone involved. Yeah, my first but was. This is a pretty cool second season. Yeah, my first was not um, a bad runner up. My first was Laneway <laughs> in Freo. That's where I went the first time. Yep. I um, turned 18 a bit before all my mates. So it was just me and my one other mate. So it's good to be here today with you know all with the you, Bromingos. Yeah, the Bros. Yeah, this is the first time we've all really gone out for a full day together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we don't usually hang. <laughs> really? No, this is it. This is fucking it. Yeah, so what's your what's your opinion of it, Jake? What, what do you yeah, think? I like it. Obviously, it's, it, it's early. <laughs> what time is it right now? It's like 4 p.m. Yeah, before o'clock. So yeah, like 3.50, the, yeah. The creatures are walking through, but they're not <laughs> creatures yet. No. They're, they're all about to people. evolve. Yeah, they're yeah. To, and I hope to evolve As soon evolve as that sun them. sets, it gets dangerous. There's a reason yeah, we're doing come out. There's yeah. a reason we're doing the podcast in the first hour and not the last hour, and it's because I'll be absolutely spasticular <laughs> by the end. Um, Excuse me? <laughs> which is a word that you can use, I believe. We'll find out. We'll, we'll find, find out. We'll find out. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm sure people will let us know. <laughs> right in, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I'm very keen to be here. Honestly, Seasons, it, it's got a vibe. Like, I went to listen out. <laughs> but there's a vibe about seasons. Which has been well publicised. Oh, mate. Very many million views. But honestly, like, season. I don't know. There's just something about it. There's just a bit more... It's a bit more laissez-faire. I think, I think the thing that's good about... So, like, listen out. You go for the artists. Or you don't go for the artist, depending on... Depending the on artist. You think. But with, with something like seasons, it's like... Yep. Everything is here, basically, to optimise fun. you got the silent disco, which some people fucking love. Like, some people... And when I went... I was like in there for Line hours. for Silent Disco, massive. Yeah. People get in there and they're, they're done. They're I was like, in there for I'm four not hours. leaving. Yeah, straight up. Because I like to switch between the three channels. Exactly. Okay. The choice. The choice yeah, you is get great. To, you get to curate your own. We cool. should do a Silent Disco of the podcast and you get one speaker. So if yeah. it's me, you just listen to me. It's yeah, just yeah, all yeah. me or it's all you or it's all you. Yeah. We've got an absolute we've legend. Got, we've got it. Wait, say it again. We've got say a legend mic, joining mic. us here. He's just jumped on the mic. Uh, so you've complained about Listen Out. Yes. The, yeah. We, I complained as well, and oh, they nice. gave me a free ticket for 2023. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Joe so Scott Meg. Complain to listen out. Tell them their shit. That's it. That's <laughs> how we <laughs> operate. This is better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Have we good love one. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Milhan. Oh, yeah. oh okay, there we yeah. go. Yeah. Shout out to the 100. Is it the one, one, one million, million. What, one yes. million podcast? With Milhan. Yeah. yeah. That's sick. So, so Joey, mate. Joey You're makes doing moves. wonders for the, for the, for the globe. For the people of yeah. Perth. For the, for the, well, the festival scene, you know. Helping the, helping the consumer. That guy came over and I was like, going to wave him off. But I had a feeling about him. Yeah, he was good. <laughs> I was he like, was give him content. the mic. Okay, I reckon he's got some value. Yeah, he definitely it. did. That's I sick. Think, yeah. I think another thing about, obviously, coming, coming to this one, it's a bit different because obviously we're part of it. We also <laughs> know the guys organizing it. We do. And, and the MacPac family does as well now. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. Stuff that you sort of take for granted. Like, you like, you come here, oh yeah, there are all these lines for the drinks, whatever. Yep. But then, like, they've had to think about, okay, what is the best way <laughs> to that we sure. can do this? Like, every single decision here, it seems like a small thing. Like, oh yeah, put this toilet here. Yeah, yeah. The coordination bear. is that. Yeah, and the speaking speaking amount of work and planning that goes into it, it's quite, it's impressive. Speaking of the placement of the toilets. We've got a front row seat here. Yeah, we've got we a do. Great Riley did here. request that off the top to yeah. make sure that we were front and centre in front of the female, female toilet. It's not a bad you know, place yeah. to be. Definitely not a bad <laughs> place to be. Yeah. We, we mentioned many a week ago on the show that um, chicks tend to go to the toilet in packs. The packs, yeah, for, many, for many a reason, and good on them. We, we, we love it. The boys are here. We love but, that, um, indeed. 
<laughs> but yes, we're definitely going to see. I can because we can see the feet in the cubicles now. We oh, can. Yeah. We actually, which can. is a little bit creepy, but we can't see anything else. But like, it's a great point. Obviously, I see a lot of boots in a cubicle right now, which is very dangerous, <laughs> and a lot of standing yeah. up, which I'm not really expecting. You never know what's tr- going on in there. The chicks' yeah. toilets. Yeah, what's going on? In there? Yeah, there's a couple of people. Anyways, there are just some mysteries that men aren't meant to understand. Really, <laughs> we are doing roaming content later, so that could be the first stop. Oh, just break and enter into the female toilets. Something it wouldn't like be your first, <laughs> and it definitely won't be the last time you do it. So, no. <laughs> definitely worthwhile giving it a red hot crack, I reckon. That's right. But yes, Jake, first festival. Good to be here. It is. It's fantastic Great to, to be, be here. here. And I, I'm pumped because once the recording is done, we're going to be doing some roaming stuff, roaming, yep. right? Which will probably build out into a second episode, I'm imagining, okay. where we get the absolute creatures that inhabit <laughs> the, the ozone preserve. About, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and we get their opinions on a few of the hot topics. They're currently taking over the nation. Yeah, um, yes. And then obviously I want to get on this bus. Because oh, if I would like to... Dangerous. If, mate, if I'm 25 and I'm going to pass away, I want to pass away in that fucking bus. Um, I'm very nervous for that bus. Like, this Imagine gonna be if there is a fatality and they use something from this. Yeah, yeah, this could come up in court. This could. Yeah. Uh-oh. You never um, know. You never know. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Because uh, ja- uh, one of the boys said that... Um, <laughs> he doesn't want to name drop. <laughs> yeah, just, okay. just name drop both of them and then say one of the boys. That'll cover uh, yeah. it. <laughs> one of the many people who run Seasons said that... Um, <laughs> The, when the bus driver got here, he said, yeah, yeah, you can take the bus, leave it here. Yes. 50 people max. Yeah, he's that's 50 people 50. without <laughs> DJ Dex. The DJ staff, yeah. Or anything, but he still said 50, uh, which I struggle to believe I how they're going to fit 50 in there. I if think the, with seats. the exclusivity pushes it over the edge. You know, it's like, yeah, that's the place to be. If you can get there. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. I don't know how we're going to get there. Well, the thing is, people aren't going to be able to get the fuck off it. We've got the media passes, so they might... We can do whatever we come want. come in handy. Back, back, win- back door! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that going on. Fair chance we run a little set as well. We've got um, Jared's brother... Aaron. Aaron. The He's going to be DJing between five to six, which we absolutely love. So there's a fair chance we just molest our way into that little pack of people. Hell yes. Um, and really rip the lid in there. It should be good fun. Hell yes. But yes. It's a, there's a fair chance we'll end up there. But there's a lot of logistics that go into this. Um, yeah, and the fact and that the boys are so to... casual as well. They're yeah, strolling they said... around. Jared looks like he's having the fucking time of his life, <laughs> <laughs> which is yeah, brilliant. The, yeah, you said Fuck this yeah. is the smoothest it's ever gone. And you know, what? after all this, all you know, the trials and tribulation they went through, you know, getting up to this point, you know, it's good that they get to have their day in I, the sun. Part I, want, part. I wonder if there's correlation between the Mac back being here. Oh, yeah, we did bring a, a sense of balance. Did to we? Their, <laughs> to <laughs> the chaos. Hey. Yes, we evened out the playing fields. It's good. It's good to be here, and good on good on the boys for putting in this much effort and making it look like. It's nothing. One hundred percent. And it, as it, as it is, my first festival. Yep. I'm coming in raw. Raw I'm dogging ex- it. I'm, a, I'm yeah. raw dogging it. Seasons. If seasons are smart, if Jared and Taylor are smart about what they're going to do, Jake could be an exclusive seasons patron. Oh my, oh god. my god! Only seasons. If they, yeah, yeah. literally, I it's only like you go got a to Nike. Bro, like you only can wear Nike. Yeah, yeah. You sponsored. Only, yeah. Yeah. I can only wear a seasons media pass and ever <laughs> buy a seasons ticket. We'll have to chat with them about that. <laughs> Off, Off air. air, yeah, definitely. We'll get the lawyers in. We'll, we'll, we'll you got you got some good lawyer mates <laughs> yeah, here, sort of yeah. strapping on lately. Joe's been in court heaps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, we're going to ask the people of Perth over the next couple of oh, I probably won't say hours, but over the next couple of segments. Yeah. Because it is the first time I'm here, I want to know. I want to learn the ropes. The ins and outs. You boys, you come from a good place. You've obviously got a lot of love, but I want an external noise. Yeah. I want to hear what the people of Perth have to say. Some ins and outs. We want to hear from some seasoned veterans. That's right. About what Part I should expect, yes. what I can do to have Tips a good and tricks. What I can have what can I what I can do to have a good time. Yep. And what I should avoid to make sure it doesn't go hey, south. Well. <laughs> Definitely not as south as it did at the Street X competition when I ended up. Well, we all know the story there. <laughs> we all know. So stay tuned, we're gonna have some punters on Very in a soon. couple of minutes. Yes, obviously, you boys, single men. Oh, the PNC lads on the show. Here we go. We're both sadly single. Yeah. Oh, 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 firstly, thanks for having us. Oh, this yeah. is, thanks right. for coming on. What a no, setting this you. is. What a setting this is. It's a, oh, it's, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's only been made better now that you boys have joined us, which is absolutely oh. fantastic. Um, we've obviously got a few questions that we want to ask. For anyone that's unaware, the PNC boys have joined us in the little area that we have here Fuck. at Seasons. Yeah. Fucking oath. Boys dominating with their podcast of their own, but they're yes. two single men. That's yes, that co- seems to be a common denominator between. And we're three and taken like. men, so we're in a situation <laughs> oh, yeah, where we're, we're, we right. we're a long-term relationship, <laughs> oh, boys. And you guys are out there on the prowl. Wait, wait, is he loved up? Yeah. Three, yeah. Oh, fuck off, you're not. Since three when? Years. Three years. <laughs> yeah. Oh what? Yeah. Oh damn! What have I you seen? What have you seen? You're Get him in early. It. You wouldn't think it with how much he takes his shirt off, but that'll definitely be off today. We're setting up earlier. He stands over. He's just standing next to me. He goes. 
what do you reckon the vibe would be like if I just took my shirt off while we were setting up? And I was like, fuck, it's just me standing here, man. I'm not going to be that interested. Had to be done. Well, kit, the kit always has to come off. Oh, well, yeah. always I saw you want to use a suing um, listen, listen out. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I do have an update about that. They have reached out with a, um, a compromise. They got scared. Uh, they got free, scared. They offered some free VIP tickets for next year. Which you know, I'll, I'll, be dis- I'll be discussing with the lawyer, and then yeah. you know we'll see we'll see where, where our position stands. Yes, that's yeah, actually class. Yeah. Was that you that snored? <laughs> that was great. Yes, obviously, yeah. seasons is the better festival, and we got the obviously, boys here. Obviously. Obviously. Absolutely, and as single men. Obviously, you're on the prowl today. Am I? Am I wrong, boys? Mate, if fun, I'm fun first, prowl second. Well, nah, prowl first. Nah, <laughs> prowl first. Nah, Get your priorities I mean, I think, in line. You know what the key is? But having fun, I think, is is what the prowl is. It you is. Because yeah. if you're too energy. desperate, if you're too desperate, no yeah, go, boys. That's a good point. No go. That's a great point. You're not wrong. As because obviously the duo PNC lads, you are the duo. And obviously, you got a few friends that you're here with today. Obviously, but wait, wait, she wants to buy merch. Oh, all yeah, right. To, Get that yeah, someone, someone get that in here. She's just stolen it. No, yeah. she's just stolen. She's on foot. She's off. It's not even cold, and you've, so- you've sold a fucking sweater. Yeah, she could have gone. Go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, but obviously that, that comes first. You guys. <laughs> get the sales through the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know we're talking we can about cut this up. Yeah. We can't <laughs> buy merch later. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. That's, and that was cash, you know. That was, that's a, that's yeah. an untaxable. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, obviously, uh, as as the duo though, the Pansy Lads, obviously a notorious duo in Perth and Australia, I reckon, boys. Not gonna lie, but. How do you go? Do you guys have any moves for our other duos that are listening to the show? Is there any wingmaning going on when you're when you're at these kind of festivals or you, even I? Can. We, I can actually give you a story. Do you remember at Metro's? Am I allowed to say names of places? Bloody yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bloody <laughs> yeah. Okay. So one time we we're at Metro's and for real? Yep. Two yeah. girls. One came up to me wanting to get with him. Oh, and then yeah, one okay. came up to him wanting to get with me. So like you're the managers. <laughs> yeah, so we kind of wingmaned each other in that sense. But the handball. You know, tonight, we. Do I say the bet that we have going on? Have yes. it, of course. Yes. Yes. Come on, bring it's it up kind of disrespectful. Say. That's all right. Uh, Evan's that's, offered me. We like it. <laughs> Evan's offered me $20 if I could bark. And just neck on with a girl from barking at her. That's <laughs> wow. it. Nothing but a bark. <laughs> yeah. I like single it. word spoken. Confidence, it's <laughs> yeah, it's sitting yeah. somewhere. It's, I don't it's know. It's getting down to do you the have lower parts. But good. so, we'll do you check. have? Have you been practicing? Do you have barked? <laughs> barked we, of a different tone. I've barked at one woman before. <laughs> How'd it go? She was forty plus, and she did like it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I did. saw that on um on the vi- on your prank video. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah look, I barked at her. She did like it. Um, <laughs> nothing eventuated from it, yeah. but safe to say, I'm gonna give it my best shot. Can we get one yeah. now? Just for, just for oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> see. Wait, Dill goes for the high pitch levels. Dill goes for the high pitch bark. Sorry for the listeners. Oh, that's right. Whereas <laughs> I go for the, the the dark, the deeper bark. So yeah, he's right. like a little bit of a. Uh, I like that. Is it Chihuahua? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. So I'm like a fucking. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. And are you on? Are you on all fours at this point? <laughs> you know what? If yeah. you want me, every chance I will be. Every chance I will be. But no. You, I hear you boys yeah. have questions, so I'm I'm interested. Oh, these are the questions. Oh, is, this, <laughs> is that the only question, or you got another one? Sorry, uh, I was trying to. Trying what to get you what on. are your moves? So obviously, there's a lot of lot of single ladies. There's a lot of single men here. If you had any tips or tricks for people, obviously we can't really give people any tips or tricks. Being We've taken been out of the man. game too long. Yes. You've been out of the game for the, ages. The game changes. straight away. Doghouse straight away. If you give any fucking tips, yeah, you yeah. guys can't say anything. Eh? Well, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, who are we to give out tips and tricks when you boys are Our tips taken? work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, obviously works. We're the ones who are fucking... Yeah. We should be asking you questions. Yeah. Yeah. Talking to the mic. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. Uh, like I said before, I think I think being too desperate does not work. Yep. Yeah, okay. Like, Is that speaking I'll, from experience or...? Well, I was DJing <laughs> an event last night. Okay. Like, Colby was there. Max Cavella from our show yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah. He, he said he knew you boys and Jamal Dill. Yeah. And he comes up to me and he's like... He actually wanted me to wheel for him, but I was like, wanted me to wingman him. I oh, said, right. I don't know, but I'm DJ and I'm working. <laughs> yeah. um, but I think being overly, overly confident, um, sorry, not overly confident, overly desperate, yep. like speaks volumes, man. Yeah. Like if you're going up to a girls and you're like, oh, like, please, I'm begging you, like, come on, give me a kiss. Like, yep. they're just going to be yeah. so icked about that. Yep. We're barking at them. We'll work a trick. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, that's why there's <laughs> 20 bucks on the line, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it shouldn't work, but... No, yeah, it yeah. definitely <laughs> should work, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you have to you have to give us an update and we can we can bet it in. Like, well, how how long are you boys here for? What time do you close up shop? 
We're here yeah. the whole day. We won't be doing this for the whole thing. We're going to go do some roaming stuff and film some film some so punters. So there's a fair chance. Yeah. some stage. We will be in the DMs. Yeah. yeah. Find DM you. Give us like a couple hours. We'll hear you. We'll hear you just barking and people will go, yeah, there's we're on. If we're on. chance we've been kicked out at some stage. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, see. Nah, we'll use yeah, the Mac yeah. Pack name. As we'll be like, no, 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 no. The Mac Pack told us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like we can't kick us out. Look. <laughs> there you go. Nah, but that's good. What about you? What's your guys' advice since you're since you are like you know in date? What worked for you boys to get into your relationship? It's a good well, question. Yeah, that is interesting. What my, happened? Mine was actually a bit. So, I my, my how I got my girlfriend. The classic. It was like a bit of a Instagram DM sort of slide okay. situation from her. Um, yeah, well, no, I so I obviously you know slid into the DMs, but I realized <laughs> hey. my, like after we had been dating for a bit, she was like, oh, you know, like that time you replied to like because I would she would put like a song on a story and then I'd like reply like classic. Like, that's, oh yeah, like that's bang, a bang. very, very good move. The songs that she would put on her story, <laughs> you hated. She, <laughs> you fucking no, no, no. <laughs> she she went onto my Spotify and, and every got, Christmas like, has sucked since because she keeps <laughs> buying me the same albums that I don't <laughs> like. No, he's like not into indie music and she's <laughs> posting nothing but like lime cordial. He's I like, love this. Shit. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so what, what she did, and this is a tip that could work for the guys as well. She went onto my Spotify and I had like a playlist of like favorite songs. So she would just go on there and go, okay, that one, I'll post that one today. That's I'll post smart. this one a bit later. Yeah. So she was so doing her research. Wait. Yeah. yeah. So it was like baiting in the. So um, she was kind of wheeling you a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I thought. I thought. Oh, I'm. Which is cool, but I'm it's like in. low key fun. Mode. It's like a little bit. Bro, creepy. Well, I, I've got a story about this because I was um I was speaking to a girl and she would you know. Congrats, actually, firstly. You know, congrats. Nice, nice, nice. Didn't work out so far. Uh, you should have barked <laughs> more. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wait, so anyway, you know how it's got Spotify activity and it yeah, shows yeah, yeah. what your friends are listening to. Yeah. She literally told me she said. Yeah, I would listen to like, I would check and see what you're listening to to judge you off your mood and then based my text message to you off of that. Wow. That's, that's smart. smart. <laughs> that's a little See, bit sociopathic. That, that's yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crossing the line. Wait, that's yeah. deep. That's some fucking knowledge right there, bro. Because that's, that's the thing. Huge. When when the, when a girl knows what she wants, it's like they'll go to any level to get it. They're like playing 4D chess and you guys are out here. But was it barking? Is that <laughs> yeah. 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 There's Look, levels to this That's shit. not yeah. the advice. I'm telling yeah. you, don't bark. Don't but bark. If it works, maybe that's the advice. Look, oh, yeah. update potentially later. I like it. <laughs> Could be. But, I like it. There you go. So wait, your, your girl was, was playing tunes because that's actually a positive thing. Like if you swipe up on stories, yeah. I think that's key. Yeah, it's like, because it's then they can then you get a bit of feedback. They can either like just hit the double tap, or if they like reply with a message. Yeah, that's it's like oh, it could be on here. Yeah, exactly. If they if they message you after you swipe up, yep, you're on. Yeah, yeah, that's it's like a the good green shout. light. Yeah, two points. I love the headphones. First, there I can yeah, hear everyone. Do. It's fantastic. <laughs> Wait, do you do you guys not run headphones? We don't do headphones. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Two, so yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Um, since you boys have started, I know you're in long term relationships, but. Uh huh. I mean, Spanner's been thrown in the works. Like, oh, uh -oh. I'm a big fan of the show. Oh, uh, love to, uh, you know, maybe get a coffee sometime. Yeah, that's Has there true. been any of that? Ooh. Yep. <laughs> and, and, and do you tell your respective misses? Oh, yeah. I think we're about to hear that, are we? Uh, I don't. I, I forgot her name, but I was at the Kid Leroy concert. Yeah, I, I just told one of my mates this very story. <laughs> I was at the Kid Leroy concert and I was coming out. And I obviously wasn't uh, wearing uh, man. I wasn't wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't wearing a shirt. Um yeah. It's obviously. How we, love that. we rate that. But then yeah, I got a photo. We're all about that. She asked for a photo, I was like, yeah, fucking oath. And then she just kept hitting me up like every weekend and was like, Magnet? Magnet? Oh like, right. Metro's coming rap show and I was like <sighs> I must say, and shout out, out to her if she's listening. She's a lovely girl, though. Because lovely girl. the way that it sort of came across our desk is, again, through the DMs. It was the I think Kid Leroy was like a midweek thing. So let's say it was on the Tuesday night, for example. Wednesday morning, I just had a look at the MacPack DM. So we slide across, and we just get a message that comes through. And it was from this chick, never heard of her before. I don't even think she was following our account. She was following you, but she wasn't even following yeah. us. <laughs> And I just open it. No context, no words, no nothing. It's just a photo, Riley, out the front of RSC Arena without a shirt on, with this <laughs> chick just like draped on him. And I was yeah. like, just do a quick screenshot, send that yeah. to her. I was like, mate, we're going to need a bit of context for this <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. Who's the bird? It's a great night. But no, no, no real spanners. No real spanners. Well, no, I'm no. Not, I don't know if I believe that because oh, no. I've been sat down for five minutes and at least eight girls have walked past and gone, <laughs> <laughs> You know what? That's loved called, it so far and it's <laughs> still early days. It's yeah. called loyalty though, boys. Yeah, I respect it. it is, how, how long have you boys have been in relationships? Three years. I'm rocking 10 years. We're high ten school. Years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm 25. So genuine high school. 15. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah. You don't know yourself, bro. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> should I put her on the spot? You're going to marry her? It's looking very likely. Yeah, yeah. She's a big fan of the show, so she'll hold this one against us. So thanks for that. You have to cut that. Oh, no. But yeah, so my advice would be if you can sit next to him in math, sit next to him in math, because that's basically when it all kicked off. That's it. If you can run a few PE classes and you just pair up by chance. Oh, that's Class. good, yeah. I like you're that. Cooking. You're cooking. Uh, 18, 18 months. 18 months. So a year and a half. But it's yeah. a child now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. in months, yeah. though. <laughs> yeah, that's such a good point. 18 <laughs> months. Like, yeah. oh, how old are your kids? We got the big... Yeah, I'm really excited for the old 19-month anniversary coming out. <laughs> it's going to be a big one. <laughs> we, we, yeah, we know some people who fucking celebrate their three-week anniversary. So wow. 19 months. Well, Let's get look, around it, mate. Some, some people, three weeks, that could be the max, you know. To be you've got to celebrate. If I hit three weeks, I'll be fucking... Yeah. That's yeah. us. Yeah. Look, never, I, take, never take PNC like advice I'll uh, tell you what it's wrong uh, every uh, time a parking per- <laughs> a personal best is still a personal best you know you gotta you gotta celebrate the little win that's it <laughs> now the longest relationship I had but it was non-sexual was a year but I was like, mean, when you say it was non sexual with Dill? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's been sexual. That's, <laughs> that's 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah, hence the post How do you think they get the post no clarity? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's how it originated. You guys do that before you record? <laughs> we slept together oh, and then yeah, I yeah, got yeah. post no clarity. I was like, that's a great name podcast. for a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Love it. So oh, obviously, that. you come to a fair few festivals? Yeah, probably every single one, bro. Yeah, sick. Loves it. Oh, yeah. we just mentioned before. This is the first festival that I've actually been to. Ever? What? Yeah. Period. This Damn. is the first. This yeah, is the see, debut. When, when you've been the debut here, when you've been in a relationship for a decade, you don't need to go out on the prowl. No. Like, true. Does, does your missus have a solid friends group? Yeah. Yeah. And. I mean, you're obviously good mates with your brothers. Do you have a friends group? Yeah, I've got, your mate. I've got mates. I've got mates. Yeah, yeah. the boys are over there. you don't venture out too much. It's not. Uh, again, I, you boys mentioned it. It was a bit of a reasoning as to why. It's just never been a huge interest of mine. It's a quiet Fair. beers. I rate yeah. that. Yeah. I'd like, I my, prefer a couple big days on the golf course or go watch fucking oh, four yeah. days I'll, of cricket. Like, would, that's where I I'm I would at. love golf. I am fucking awful. Mate, mate. So my, yeah. my brother, <laughs> like, he's a bit like that. Like, yeah. he, didn't, he didn't even drink alcohol for like five years. Yeah, okay, right. right. Like, I, and then like, when he was six, he started drinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, funny story. When he was two, he got rushed to hospital because my... Uh-oh. Auntie made like <laughs> 10 Jackson Cokes for her dad. Yeah, right. My auntie, my cousin. Yeah. yeah. She was like 10, made ja- <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was like 10, made like 20 Jackson Cokes because her dad kept asking, make another Jackson Coke, make another Jackson Coke. Okay. So she was smart, made 20. My brother went and drank like two of them, passed wow. out at two. <laughs> at uh, two? Yeah. Jesus. Rushed Jeez. the hospital, so. That's full on. That's so fun. yeah, maybe that's why he doesn't drink. <laughs> yeah, that's be, a good shout. Yeah. Scarred for life. So <laughs> what we're aiming for is, obviously it's the first time I've been at a festival. What are the tips? What are the what are the things we should be looking out for? Other, than, night other than chicks. My, my main tip is to... Just catch yourself in the moment yep. and enjoy everyone who's around you. Okay. And if you do that, you're going to have a great time. We did love you, that. Did you go clubbing? A little bit, but again, it's not like massive we might see. Because oh, uh, this is what I'll say. Clubbing scene is very, um, I feel like you get a lot more aggressive people at clubs. Like yep. People who are yep. a bit like, they're you know, like you looked at my missus, I'm a floggy, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Whereas like, at festivals, I feel like everyone's on good vibes. Mm. Such a euphoric Because everyone's, everyone's there mm. to have a good time and mm. they've like hyped it up. Where a night out is just like, oh yeah, do you want to go out? Like it's not as like, yeah. you can ruin a night out and it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah, we were, yeah, exactly. We yeah. were at Listen Out three, four weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Say the name of that. It's Seasons. <laughs> 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 so we were at a festival three, four weeks ago. Yeah. And we were just two gremlins. It was literally just like us and two oh, other man. blokes. And we're just <laughs> acting like... Little gremlins, but I don't know what it was. Just radiating good energy to the point where people around us were just great people. Yeah, fantastic. Just great people. So my my, my main tip is just to embrace everyone and everything, yep. and you'll have a great time. I love we that, like boys. It. And it good. started off fantastically. Perfect weather. Exactly. It's a little grey area here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah that's all I can say. Really. Yeah. If you've got nothing else, we'll give you a. We'll just plug. We'll, we'll shout you out real quick. Plug it. Wait, we'll, we we'll yeah. put it we'll on our stuff. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's on a longer form as well, boys. Oh, yeah. 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 You guys yeah, should have yeah, yeah. We'll have it. We'll maybe we'll do we'll a little collab. We'll go on yours. You guys come on. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. So that that sounds, good. sounds good. Yeah, yeah it's good yeah. stuff, boys. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. We'll what a way to wrap things up, boys. Thank you so much for joining us here on the MacPack Podcast live from Seasons. PNC Lads on all platforms. Yes, sir. PNC. Thank you. You've heard of them. MacPack for having us on. Yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers, boys. Appreciate it.
All righty, boys. Thanks so much to the PNC boys for coming on the podcast. That was an absolute treat. Oh, great. Such fun. good gas. <laughs> Arguably as good a treat. We've got two of my best mates, Benny Wright and Tommy Corkill, joining us here in the, the studio. One of these one of these you know, boys, boys has low-key featured on the show before. He has. Yes. When he had COVID. Oh, the both, COVID they both they have. both have, yeah. Ben's featured on. We pranked Benny a while oh, back right. ago. Yes. And it went in like, I think it went in That's leftovers because right. he was too switched on. For us, Could and not Tom, be pranked, yeah. Tom was arguably the first person that we ever saw get COVID. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> he came in yeah, how, yeah, how are you going right now, mate? Yeah, mate, chilling. <laughs> Feeling better? <laughs> yeah, yeah it's pretty good. You've just come back from a trip over to England. A trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah a trip. Yeah, a yeah. massive <laughs> trip. Arguably the biggest trip we've ever seen. Yeah. How was it? Yeah, good, man. Fucking, it's nice to see some sun for the first time in a few years. <laughs> yeah. Good shout. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, happy to be back and fucking. Happy to have a few beers. But the, yeah, be- no, the best part about being back is obviously embracing the Aussie culture, Aussie which culture. is seasons. Yeah, most <laughs> definitely, fellas. You mate. can't go wrong with seasons. What a vibe. Have you been to a few seasons before, Tommy? Yeah, a and couple, ben? mate. Yeah. Have you been? I've been to a few. Yeah. You been to many, Jake? No. no, this is, we mentioned yeah. this before. This is the first time I've ever been to a festival. So this is my debut <laughs> live here for the, for the guests, That's for it. the fans of the show. They're all part of the same ride that I'm on here. The, so, big, the big debut. So I guess we're searching for something from you two boys. How would you co- coach Jake through a day at Seasons? What, what should I expect? What, what should I aim to achieve? Any crazy stories from previous times yes. for Jake to kind of avoid? Or go to Ward? Donuts. No, I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long news. <laughs> Just, Cheap uh, beers. I don't know. Start start fast, mate. Start, it, like, fast. start fast. Start fast. He says Get it's five o'clock. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you make it to the end. Though. Yeah, that's the key. I think that I think that's been my biggest issue on some of the bigger drinking sessions we've had. That's it. Um, exactly what Tom has just pointed it's out. We drink. And maybe it's a cultural thing between our mates. You start real hard early, mm. and then you forget about the finish because usually it's wiped from your memory while you're in the gutter. You're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong, boys. Where was I going? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a couple of questions here. Obviously, a couple of young, fit lads. Yes, of course. Yes, obviously. Oh, they're both both taken. Yes. They but are. have been Jacked on the market up. in previous seasons. Am I correct in saying that? Not myself, but... Oh, okay. Previous seasons. Previous okay. seasons. Okay. There we go. What are the tips and tricks? There's obviously a lot of young single boys getting around the town. Yep. And as three boys who are in relationships, in relationships and obviously you guys are in relationships as well, is there any tips or tricks that you reckon you could give to the people of Perth? Make sure you're famous on TikTok. Oh, yeah. It yeah. seems to be doing wonders for us. That does uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> One day. <laughs> but yes, what about, what about, have you found anything that chicks might be looking for? Anything uh, to do with... There's an old trick that we go. me and my Here old mate go. Braden Reed have. Shout out to Braden uh, Reed. Can't uh, be with uh, us today. Get as drunk as possible, mm-hmm. find a girl on the dance floor and give her a little twirl. Yep. Oh, a classic. Raiden swears by it. 10 out of 10 times will work. Wow. Oh, shit. There you yeah. go. <laughs> so it's, it's something to do with the, uh, whether it's the equilibrium, <laughs> <laughs> it just gets them. Rolls their brain around <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, Mixed with alcohol. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a definitely an inner ear type <laughs> imbalance thing. Yeah. Fuck yeah. What about, because we were talking about just off, off air just then, you know, the outfits that we see a lot of a lot of women wear to these events. Yep. They go all out. They do. But the men, you know, as we all address right now, t-shirt jeans. T-shirt jeans. No can't beat the classics. Can't, yeah, you cannot beat the classics. But what about hairstyles or anything like that that have you boys seen that has worked or not worked? Because Tommy, obviously, Tom has hair. How long have you grown out that, Tom? Uh, a good minute, mate. It's yeah. been nine years, I reckon. Yeah, I don't right. think Tom's had a haircut since high school. <laughs> no. <laughs> since we left school, I haven't touched so it. So 2014, yeah. we finished 14, up. Mate, yeah. we graduated. I think it's fucking stunted. To be For honest, all the mate. listeners. I'll shave it off and I won't have hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying. Did it grow much while you were over in England? Uh, a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. It's just yeah, do you, a lack of care didn't do you hit, help it. Do you hit a point think. where like <laughs> that, that that's it? And it's just like very, very... Minute growth after that. Yeah, I think so. I think it's thinning out, to be honest, yeah. man. Like, I'm going to turn into Jake, mate. Have to go <laughs> here we go. Here, here, here we go. Right, like. Got to get the pot shots in early. Well, if yeah. it's thinning out, you still got another 10 years, I reckon. Well, maybe, yeah, by the time maybe, all yeah. that shit thins out, I reckon we can get a bit of a donation going on and I can wear a bit of it. Like second hand. Second hand hair. Yeah, mate. We'll, we'll hook you up. Bit of super glue. Happy days, though. Obviously, like it. you boys aren't sporting them right now, but everyone here, obviously, back in Australia, everyone's sporting the mullets. Yes. Yeah, mate. Running it. Have right. you been loving seeing the mullets back oh, in Australia? Mate. Get around it. I was fucking in India in a hostel and this bloke pulls in, tattooed up and running a mullet and I was like, he has to be Australian. Yeah, Do right. He's like from <laughs> Melbourne, ripper bloke. Oh, great. And so it is an Aussie thing. Yeah, straight up. 
Just <laughs> posing for a photo. Yeah, photographs. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that was good. <laughs> good oh, I think I was talking during it, so I'm glad we stopped. Um, <laughs> and you did fucking Everest. Uh, yeah. While you're away, yeah, talk us through that. Everest, man. Cheeky Everest, yeah. Um, <laughs> not the peak, fucking let's get that straight. But, uh, yeah, went to the base camp. Um, yeah, super fun. What's that entail? What, run us through the what setup. What was the prep? Uh, so it was a 16 day trek, cruise into Kathmandu, and then um, fly up to Lukla. Um, and then start your trek from there. We were pretty lucky, we got a good guide, um, and it was a small group, it was just me and my Mrs. Mary. Shout outs. Shout out um, to Mary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, 16 day trek up there, pretty like relatively slow, so kind of like 8K days, and then a few like um, altitude days to get used to it. Um, and then, yeah, ran from there. Like we both got a bit sick. Mary got a bit sicker than me on the way up with the altitude. Yep. You just don't know. You don't know what you're getting into. You know? Yeah, like that's it, fair. It, it hits everyone different. But yeah, both made it. Um, and then on the way back, yeah, it's just every step you get, every step you take, mate, you're feeling better, eh? Like, people <laughs> yeah, yeah. Such an happy fucking day. Um, <laughs> Plan was to take a footy up. Did you take the footy up? I did not take a footy up, oh. mate. Get my hands on a Sharon in the UK because that's where we yeah, came yep. from, mate. They're looking for like 150 bucks. For wow, like a fucking Jesus. small one, mate. So that's you know, nuts. I, I wasn't, I wasn't too happy, and <laughs> didn't get an export up there either, which I was spewing about. There but you go. That was meant to be the two big, the big ticket uh, items. I know, mate. I know. Yeah. Goodness Absolutely gracious me. Before we finish up, before we let you boys go, we, I don't know how you boys got in. I'm assuming Uber. You Ubered in. Correct, yeah, Uber, yeah. We were fortunate enough to have our lovely mother and father, who have both actually appeared on the podcast as well. Mum and Dad. They hand-delivered us. They dropped us in. How beautiful. And Frankie it, and Janine. Frankie and Janine. Shout, Shout out. out. Bloody legend. Shout Give out. your mum a hug, eh? That's Give it. your mum a it. hug. And that's exactly what... This is where the conversation started, because once we got here, we remember back to when the last time probably mum and dad dropped us off. And yep. I must say it would have been at school. School <laughs> days, right? And it begs the question, at what age... Because even when we're getting dropped off at school, yeah. there's a period where it stops happening. Mm. When do you stop kissing your mum on the lips when she drops you off for school? Because when she <laughs> left today, there was not a, there's not a little increment of me no. that thought, you know what? There I'm was no leaning. I was going to kiss my mum. <laughs> and I wonder at what point, when was the last time you decided that you were going to kiss your mum? And why? <laughs> Go for it, boys. Now, Ben, I obviously kissed your mum a handful of times, <laughs> and it's been way more recent than you have. Well, I was going to say, you got dropped off by your dad, and you were kissing your dad on the lips. <laughs> <laughs> there was a bit of tongue action. I'm not going to lie. We're not going to lie to the listeners. When do you reckon the last time was that you would have kissed your mum? Right on the right on the pecker. I can't remember. Right? I, it's I, I, tough. That's probably a, a good time thing. ago. Yeah. <laughs> Cre- do you reckon primary school? It's the last time you kissed your mum. Primary school. I reckon yeah. primary school. I also remembered like. When you're young and like, yeah, mum would drop us off or whatever, and even maybe not on the lift, but you get like on the cheek, and there's like the mark. Oh yeah. yeah Always no. used to rub it off straight away. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I don't. Elbow. I don't want that's anyone it. to know my mum. Kiss me. Loves me. God, that's embarrassing. <laughs> get get that off. You always get a good auntie who's always got like a nice thick amount of lipstick oh, yeah. at Christmas, and she would just come over and plant one on you. <laughs> and it's it's almost like a stamp Tag. when you when you enter a, a music festival or yeah, a club and you get it. the stamp. Yeah. You just Never. got that thing on your face. And that means that means you can go back for extra pudding. Yeah. <laughs> Never will stitch up, mate, I swear. <laughs> there you go. What about you, Tom? When was the last time Jane was fortunate enough to give her a big hairy son a nice kiss on the lips? Get through that bit. Before before the big trip to England, mate. Years, mate. Oh yeah. Years, mate. Gave her a big kiss on the cheek, mate, missed it a bit, but that's, yeah, that's that was cute. it when we got that's I couldn't cute. tell you. So <laughs> make sure guys, like we would all you would you go in for one? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not off the table, though. Let's, yeah. let's see it's where tonight takes us, I reckon. That could be exciting. There you yeah, go. Kick on at Corky. <laughs> yeah. So we're big on giving your mum a hug, but hey, don't be afraid to go for the lean-in and give your mum a big old kiss on the lips. <laughs> no one's judging here. We love it. Thank you, boys, for joining us here on the MacBook Podcast live. Thank you, boys. From nice. Seasons gentlemen. at the Ozone Reserve. I appreciate Thank it. Nice Thank gentlemen. you. Cheers, boys. Alrighty, boys, super exciting to be joined by Tegan and Taylor in the MacPack Live Studios. Tegan? Hey? Who's Tegan? Tegan is our a winner. She was one of our VIP winners. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And she stalked hey. us out. She wouldn't leave us alone. She's been standing in the gate going, I won, <laughs> yeah. I won, yeah. I won. Yeah. I won. Yeah. Uh, we're super excited to have a couple of girls on the podcast. We've only ever had our mother and one other female join us on the podcast. So it doubled. We've doubled our numbers within yes. seconds, Fuck which yeah. we're very excited about. Girls. Welcome to the Mac Pack Podcast. Thank How you. are we? It's an hey. honor. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so kind. All right, let's yeah. get straight down to business. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys' intentions here at Seasons? Uh, 
um, have a good time. Yep. Yep. Are you, yeah. are you guys? Are you guys, uh, are you guys taken slash single? Not for me. Single but for me. All right. Single nice. Situationship. It's he hasn't asked me to be his girlfriend yet. Oh. Put the, do we want to shout him out? Do we do put, put the name? pressure on? Yeah, we can put the pressure on him Oop. right here, right now. Jesse Edwards. Oh. Jesse, Jesse first name, Edwards. Last name, first and last. I wasn't expecting that. the last name, but I like it. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Well, obviously, having a situationship. You know, it means that you've kind of got a type. You know who you're looking de- locking yep. down. Correct. But it just hasn't been locked down yet. Girls, when you're at a festival like this, are we looking for a dad bod or a six pack? A six dad pack. bod. Oh, oh, here we go. This is good. Like this is good. It. Can you both? Yeah, it, debate. Say, say your reason. Yeah. Well, for me, it's like it doesn't have to be fully ripped, but just like I don't know. I'm Bit tone. of tonage. I'm, I'm small, so yeah. Want someone to kind of, you know, you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. yeah so yeah. sort of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what about yourself, Taylor? Right. Okay, so if they're taller than me, it's immediately like a tick. Um, cool. But I feel like dad bod equals better bedroom time. Okay. Ooh, and why is that? Not so much. And why is that? The ego. Oh. Yeah. So there's a bit more effort involved if you're not oh, necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. It's always me first before them. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a great That's insight. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So I could see that. Um, I'm not could you? That. No, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so right. I was gonna say, I'm assuming you guys are all Take fine. No, all fun. <laughs> not six pack <laughs> type. <laughs> Pardon? Excuse me? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, the show will be Riley coming up later. Differ. <laughs> the show will be coming up later, so you can tell for yourself. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Right. What about at a festival like this, obviously in Australia, mullets all around. Are we a mullet or no mullet kind There's of There's a lot of mullets here. Mullets. Both. Yeah, you both both right. on the mullets. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not too fussy. I don't yeah. really yeah. mullet, yeah. yeah. No, cool. That's cool. <laughs> Great call. Great Interesting. Call. So basically, Interesting. as long as you've got a mullet and you've but it doesn't matter. You could yeah. have a six pack, or you could have a dad bod. I like that. You know, leave it open for everybody. So but mullet is the new thing. Right. At what point did the mullet become attractive? It has to be a nice mullet. It can't be. Is a mine a ready. nice mullet? Yeah, it has oh, really? to be faded and blended. I'm a hairdresser, so I kind of look at them oh. like, oh, that's a fucking yeah. bad. Yeah, this guy cuts my hair. Yeah, yeah. he's got a nice he does mullet. A good job. Yeah, he's, he's a cutie. Yeah. <laughs> he is a cutie, and he has a six pack. So. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's got no idea we're talking about it. That's no, came for everybody at home. Which is what we like. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, the other question we have is obviously, we know, we've asked a few of the boys. We've had a few of the boys here join us. Now, we've asked them what their tips are in order to woo a woman yeah. at a festival. But we yet to see what the women have in regards to tips for how a man or a woman can woo another... Oh, Jesus, where are I going <laughs> with this? Like, moves for a festival. Yeah, either or. That's a great so way to put it. A good yeah. way for a bloke to hit on you, or a good way for you to hit on a bloke. Hit yeah. a bloke. If you're a or guy, female, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, anyone. Yeah. Don't come up to me and touch me. Yeah. Hundred yep. percent no. Agreed. Right. Hundred percent yeah. no. Instant in the bin. Yeah. For me. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. That's Watch Taylor good. go That's the good. opposite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I reckon <laughs> Taylor's gonna go. Come up and grab it. Um, just dance and look like you're having a good time, really. Okay. Yeah, and that's then, what. Like, if the vibe's there, then sure. But yeah. other than that, do, yeah, don't touch me unless I touch you first. Um, and really. make it make a conversation. Yeah. Okay. 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 Is, is it a bit hard to have a chat when you're seven, when you're amongst seven thousand people in a um, mosh at seasons? Makes it interesting. It is hard. <laughs> It is hard. The yelling in the ear. Yeah. Oh, we get a bit of recognition yeah. from here from Tegan. Tegan's got some fans. Tegan's got fans. <laughs> Tegan's got fans. Yeah. Tegan's got fans yeah. in the crowd. I thought it was just us taking photos, Sorry. but apparently Tegan's, Tegan's doing a live signing after there. Yeah. So guys. exciting <laughs> for Tegan. I want to steal <laughs> your thunder. <laughs> <laughs> what about wing girling? Do you guys have any tips and tricks? Have you ever had a um, successful wing girl? Mm. Oh, we just helped out a friend just there. Oh, yeah? Actually, <laughs> Huge. And, and the o'clock. victim is here the victim. watching us. That one with oh, the hat okay. and the glasses. Oh, here's a cute. So he's that's the friend. Off. That is, no, that's, no, that's the boy. That's the boy. Oh, and where's the, the, friend? Yeah. the friend? Have we checked on her? I don't know. I'm nervous yeah. for the friend. Where's Caitlin? <laughs> But she's moving away next month, so Ooh. she's like, oh, it's a bit, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay, could be a bit iffy. A bit a of a situation, yeah. <laughs> if I'm using oh, that correctly. I think so, yeah. yeah. Could oh be on. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. This is her in the brown. Oh, this is fantastic. Her. We yeah. found her. Nice to meet you. It's lovely to see you're a <laughs> yeah. full body and mind. <laughs> that's, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. You haven't been grabbed. <laughs> yeah, that's huge. So, what are your tips? When you're a female, so obviously, as far as I'm concerned, a lot of the boys that we've spoken to, it's largely on the boys to approach the women. Yeah. In a heterosexual relationship, yes. Have you girls ever flipped it? Have you ever approached a boy? Here we go. Yeah, too many times. Run us, <laughs> run us through your best. Nothing, nothing wrong with flipping it round. Good, it I like to it. Be evened out, I think. I agree. Yeah. Run us through what your tactics are oh, when you approach um, a, you a grab, young man. Are you, are you a grabber? Yeah. Hundred percent. No. No. Let's go 
up and introduce yourself. Say hi. Okay. Just, mm. Conversationalist. Like, Conversation, nah. yeah. Oh, Taylor's, Taylor's the opposite. Oh, she's just going. She doesn't give a fuck what they right, have to say. I've already done it tonight. A guy had matching glasses to me. Yep. I was like, yo, we've got matching glasses. And then that's how it starts. You just sort of point out like the random uh, shit. Okay. okay. Yeah. And did he have a dad bod? He had a mullet. Okay. Oh, okay. So Tick they're not box. mutually exclusive. That's all we need. That's, I like that. Yeah. I like Take it. One. So what are your plans for the rest of the evening? It's obviously um, still pretty early. It's only five o'clock. What are your plans, girls? Sleep. <laughs> I couldn't tell you, to be honest, whatever happens. Whatever happens, whatever happens. happens. Hell yeah. yeah. We want to get on the party bus at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would get on there yeah. sooner rather than late. Oh, you mean the party bus out Going of here? Out, yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the party bus that's situated in the actual... Is there one? Oh, there's there's a party bus with a rave cave. Uh, yeah, we'll be over We need a shout out. We've got a DJ. <laughs> we'll yes, we've got a DJ who's the brother of one of the boys who runs Seasons. Oh. He's going to be in the actual bus from 5 till 6 o'clock. He promised he said he's absolutely going to go off knockers. Right. Yeah. So make sure you're in there. And Head boys... You can feel free to touch Taylor. Is that was that the rule? But <laughs> yeah. if it's Tegan, let her chat Hands to you. Off. Yeah, you can shake my hand, and that's about it. Yeah, we uh, like that. Right Fantastic, up. girls. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us Thanks here for having us. at the Ozone Reserve for Seasons Live MacPack Podcast. Alrighty, boys, we're back here live from the Ozone Reserve for Seasons Season Opener. Yes, and we're fortunate enough to be joined by TikTok Royalty. superstar in <laughs> Perth. Yes. Boys, welcome to the studio. Max, how are you, King? I'm fucking... How you going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we like it. <laughs> we like that. Good, yeah. We're good. Closer? Yeah, 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 that's good, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> How's things, man? Yeah, pretty good. I started, I think, 1 o'clock, and I've had about 13 196s. Huge. Yeah. Just for those playing along at home, it's 5.30. So, <laughs> yeah, um, he's so launching. Are they, the, are they the grape flavor or the... Uh, yeah, they're the new grape ones. Are there. they good how or what? It? Tell us. Um, Comprehensive review. Not as good as the lemons, but I mean, like, they're not bad at all. They're fucking just, okay. just a little bit below it. So They do the job. Yeah, they fucking, they definitely do the oh, job. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> pretty how you going. Obviously, kn- Knuckles, you know... Yeah, you're a bit. You're a bit of a TikTok vlogger. Yeah, I, I guess, guess you could say. Yep. Yeah. Short clips turn into vlogs, and yep. the fuck, they're funny. They're yeah, they're nice. good. Yeah. I've been yeah. watching them for a few weeks now. Yeah. And I've been like, this can, this guy's uh, good. Appreci- this guy will be good that. on a potty. Yeah. But so tell tell us, what's the day been like so far? Um. So have you been recording a vlog today? Well, I wanted to go out last night. Yeah. Um. Got home from work, had a big day, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I want to go out last night. Of course. And then. My mate was like, nah, I'll save it for a big day tomorrow. And I was like, oh, you should be right a bit there. I was like, <laughs> right, maybe I should. So I was like, fuck it. I'll go for a coastal drive. Uh, and just by yourself? Yeah, or yeah, just by myself. Like, oh, nice beautiful. music. Uh, like, nice little subwoofer and so forth. That's so sweet. <laughs> and we got in my car. The lights didn't work in my car. Engine light came on. So I was like, you know what? Fuck ya. <laughs> yeah, had a shower. Got in the bed. Um, had a caramello. And koala? Then, uh, I Caramel and koala? Yeah. Nice. That, and I went to brush my teeth, and next thing you know, I'm fucking, I woke up, I was dead asleep, didn't brush my teeth, and I was fucking, felt disgusting. Yeah, huge. <laughs> but yeah, so I woke up, fixed my lights, and um, yeah, got on the piss. So, Fantastic. That's yeah, huge. It's just a normal sort of weekend. Just thing. roll one into the next, into the next, yeah. into the next. So how, yeah. many, how many drinks will you have usually on a night out? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> Silly wait, question. Wait, how many have you had today? I'm on about 13 right now. 13 one nine sixes, and one nine sixes contain 1.6 standards. Six six percent each. I've had about 13. (laughs) (laughs) Joe, you're the math man. 1.3 times 1.6. I said in my (laughs) I said 60 in my in my fucking video. I thought (laughs) yeah. I said six percent times one standard drink. I was like yeah, it's about ten of those. It's about 60. (laughs) (laughs) 60 drinks. I think you'll be dead if you do. Pretty pretty close, yeah. 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 Ballpark figures only. I'm pretty good at math, so I can tell. I can tell. (laughs) Something along those lines. So um, obviously you're 21. Yep. So I'm only 19. So I'm still new to the clubbing scene. Have you loved it since you've been 18? Oh, Do mate. I still have three years to look forward to, or will I get sick of it? Um, so where, where have you gone to, if you don't mind me asking? Magnet, Butterfly, Metro's fr- a lot in Frio. Okay. Big Frio guy. Yep. Court, Henry Summer. Yep. All the basic ones. We're opposite. Oh, okay. I've, never been to Ma- I've never been to Frio, sorry. Oh, oh really? Never. Oh, you're city boy. Um, yeah, so... You know the river? To, my main things are, like, Hillary's, um, oh, oh, Bar yeah. One. Magnet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah <laughs> bit of a bit of a Bar One slot, long <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, line. Yeah, so Hillary's, um, City, like, Magnet, like, the Coconut, fucking, like, shit like that. Yeah, yeah but nice. I just find... I don't know, I hear Frio, and I just, for some reason, think, like, that's fucking, like, 10 years away. Mm. Whereabouts do you live? 
Uh, Morley. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, yeah. Is that, ten, is that is ten. That is ten. I just think like Frio's like fucking all over there, and I think like Morley's like all over there. So mm. I think like a hundred and eight dollar Uber. <laughs> it's probably only like forty bucks, but still, I'm broke as fuck. So that's fair enough. <laughs> I just think enough. you know what? Yeah. I mean, they can charge with the Uber. It's going to decline anyway, but I still get the Uber home. So <laughs> yeah. Well, do you know what's crazy? Like, obviously, I saw you approach the approach the tent. Yeah. And I was like, this big man. Obviously, I know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, here we go. We got we got to get him on the show. And I was talking to you. Yeah. And I was like, damn, this guy seems like relatively sober. And then he tells me he said, "Yeah, I'm drinks. surprised." And like you, you've slurred a few words, but not enough to be like 13. Yeah. What, uh, um, what's the secret? Yeah, you're by no know. means paralytic. I reckon, you, I reckon you're at like 20 stand. I used to be. Yeah, I used to be very bad. So I used mm. to go out like when I was 18 to maybe 20. Yeah. Two days, Friday, Saturday. I'm talking like 20 standards per Huge. night. We like it. Two nights a week. And do then you I was like, throw up a lot? Hey, do you throw yeah. up? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> every night. Really? Like, I used to like halfway home. You? I'd be recording my face. I'm like walking home from say, let's. All right. So you know, do you remember arcade? No. In Junalup? No. There's, there used to be a club in arcade. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, oh, in Junalup, and that was like the place where you go. Just once you finish your club, I, I mean your your bar sesh. Yeah. It's dirty. Mm. You go there and you just get a little bit of a groove in. Yeah. I used to go there, and then it used to be walking distance. So I used to live in Junalup. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's about ten minute walk home. Yeah, okay, I right. Smash drinks down there, and I'd be about halfway through my walk, and I think, you know what? It'd be quicker if I ran home. <laughs> well, on a think full stomach it. of piss. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you think about it. It'd be quicker if you ran home. You're so not wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, used, I do that. So if I start running, yeah. I get about halfway home, and I'm about, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Get that down now. Get two fingers down. Good. Like, Wait, I just saw you put up a weird. Which two? Yeah, which, which two do you use? Are you using the back end? It could, it could be these two. It could be these two. It be ten, depends how I feel. If I'm wow. Yeah, you were holding up weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm, all, I'm, I'm always gang it, signs, man. It, all right, no, it normally just be the one. Well, said one finger. <laughs> It's a bit down your throat. One boy, so I just go down, fucking wait. Wow. I usually few. like fist it. Like I need a fair. Sounds bad. Out. The gag reflex is really good. <laughs> good. So I just just wait, put it down, breakfast. and then yeah. So yeah, huge. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a pretty big drinker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've pretty noticed. Drinker. And have you been to seasons noticed. before? Uh, I came in before COVID 2019. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I okay. went on that. That ride, you know the one that, um, on the swing sets when they come around like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I thought that was going to be piss easy. Next thing you know, I was on there, I was shitting myself. <laughs> I was going around that thing and I was like, holy fuck, I'm pissing. <laughs> like, I'm getting messed up. I got off and I was like, oh, I need a fucking espresso martini like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'll yeah. fix it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. So how many more drinks are you going to have tonight? It's only, what, 5.30 now and um, the event ends at 10. You're not on. still What's young. Your so 20 stand is, I reckon, roughly now. So I normally try to drink as much as I can before. I've and noticed. then I keep going out, but that never works. Mm. Like I just drink heaps before, and next thing you know, I still spend three hundred dollars out. Yeah, like, huge. Mate. Um, mate. I'll probably still buy. I'm. I feel sober now after thirty. Yeah, you see that. However many I've so had. is yeah. that over a long period of time? Oh. How's your liver? Have um, you got it checked? <laughs> couldn't tell you. <laughs> I reckon you might so, be in strife here. Ignorance I'm, is bliss. Man. I have. I have ADHD. Okay. Uh, I've had. Uh, my mate gave me. Six de- uh, nine, six Dexies today. Yeah, so I've had. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out I'll to the doctor. On, on, the down, on the download, cheers, Matt. Um, <laughs> I've, had, I've had I've had six Dexies. That's fucked. Uh, but if I've, you have ADHD, isn't that yeah. just like normal? Yeah. yeah so I've. Um, oh, so it's sort of counterbalancing yeah. you back to. So okay. I'm on Vivans. It's like different sort of things. You got Dexies, you got Vivans. Yep. Dexies are short lasting. Vivans is long o- over time. Okay. Of the, throughout the day. Slow release. Um. <laughs> yep. And I find they. With alcohol, they don't agree. I can get drunk, like I mean, like overly drunk really quickly. Yeah, so right. I said to Matt, I was like, "Can I just grab some of yours?" And right now, I have a really dry mouth. If you can't tell. Okay. Like you're hiding it well. Needs a few drinks. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely do. So, like very dry, very dry. But I've had six of those. I've still got five more. Okay. There oh you go. my gosh. That. Heard so, it here yeah. first. I'm, and they, they I'm will, stressed this, for you. Yeah. This, they, they, <laughs> will, they will be gone. I'm I'm I thought I go out a lot and drink a lot, but like fucking. Petty cash compared to you, mate. No. I reckon I you're like, no, like, look out for yourself. Honestly, oh, I'm, yeah. a bit, I'm a bit concerned for your well being. Obviously, yeah. it's working, in, <laughs> but like, it's working on the views, so like, you know. It's not even for the views, it's just a normal uh, night out, really. Like, yeah, you may as well just I'm not trying to, like, all right, how drunk can I get this weekend for how many views? Like, the one that I did that got the first weekend recap I got, which got like 700,000 views yeah. Yeah. of me, like, at a cocktail bar in Scarborough, mm-hmm. that got a lot of views. And that was a, a night which I, not regret, but like, I woke up that morning and I was like, holy fuck. That was a two day hangover. And I was like, yeah, nah, that was fucked. Unreal. I obviously did its thing, but like, I ne- I've done, I felt like that 
I can't say I've never felt like that. I've done that a lot of times. Okay. It's happened a lot of times. But like, <laughs> it's something I do not want to wish on anyone. It's the worst hangover you can ever get. So. There you go. So what yeah. are your tips? If you had one tip for people here at Caesars today to look after their health but still make sure they have a good bit of fun, what would this it be? Is, this is Jake's first music festival. It is. It's my first music oh, festival. So actually? we're chasing a bit of tips. Okay. Um, tips. Um, a lot of water. Yep. yep. Keep up with the water. Okay. Drink Obviously, drink as much as you can because there's still, you know, keeps you hydrated as much yep. as you get drunk. Yep. And when you drink throughout the day, obviously alcohol, even though it's alcohol, it still keeps you sort of a little bit hydrated. Yep. So, and if you're doing some sort of illicit stuff, <laughs> yep. um, just don't do it. broadcast it on a podcast. <laughs> yeah, just do what you're comfortable with. Don't <laughs> overdo yourself. You know what I mean? Like, we like it. It's good advice. I write it. advice from Max. You're very not sensible, but also sensible. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. like there's a craft. I know, I know, the, I know the, um, He knows what he should be doing. He chooses plans. not to. And yeah. sometimes I push it. I'll, 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 yeah, I fucking push it. <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> balancing act. Yeah. Yes, love it. We uh, like I, it. Yeah, I know the limits. Max, yeah. thank you so much for joining us here on the MacPack Podcast live Appreciate from Ozone it. Reserve for season's season opener. Thank you, mate. Thanks for having me. Cheers, mate. Alrighty, boys, what a moment in time. We're obviously here at Ozone Reserve Four Seasons Season Over, and we're joined by one of the cult figures who has made himself quite synonymous with the MacFay Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Edmund Hillary Big to Ed! the pod. How are you, Ed? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Probably the most mentioned man on the podcast. 100%. This is my fucking guy. How are you, Ed? Not too bad yourself? This, yeah, going well. this, this episode is like the Mac Pack version of Infinity War. It's all <laughs> it's an all star cast. cast. Literally, mate. Yeah. Literally. I mate. like it. It's all star weekend down here at Seasons um, Ozone Reserve for Seasons. That's right. We've had some absolute big names, but I reckon the biggest name we've had on the podcast is Mr. Edmund. Big Edmund. Ed. Big Ed, how do you feel today, mate? How does it feel to finally make the show? I feel good. I don't have mud on my pants today. We like oh, that. <laughs> yes, well, I remember I told I told many, many a week ago, probably a year ago. Yeah, a year ago. About Big Ed's big stack at mm-hmm. Seasons yes. 2021. And then we got the back the background of that story then from the, background. the organizers themselves. Eddie, mate, talk us through that big day. Well, I remember we started at your house. Talk us through the big day. Talk about the pre's and where your parents were, how many drinks you had. Okay, Anything I you don't want. remember a lot of it, <laughs> but all I remember is I had peas at my house. I think one of the best peas I've ever had. Fuck yes, it was good. And obviously, parents are out of town. Yes, yeah, that was true. Classic. Did the parents know it was happening? Uh, they did not. They came home. Nice. Did they know afterwards? Uh, they did. They yeah. did. They gave me a whipping. Oh. A whipping. I remember oh. for Eddie messaging the group chat saying, never again. <laughs> <laughs> Never again am I allowed to host. So was, was the house a mess? Did you did you put in the effort to tidy it, or was it a lost cause? Uh, no, I bribed my brother to do it. Oh yeah, yeah and how'd that go? Not, uh, good not good. He did not want to do it. I did not want to do it, and my parents came back um, not on time. They came back earlier. <laughs> I did not have time to pack up anything, and I basically got fucked. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. We like that. Oh yes. It's, how many drinks, Eddie? Bat, obviously, I've talked about this on the show before. I know. On a stock standard day at Seasons, because you, did you know that this is actually Jake's first ever music festival? This is. It's Jake's day debut. Wow, wow, congrats. It's, Thank I you, know, man. Right? I wouldn't want to celebrate it any other way than by actually having our own tent here at the MacPack Podcast Studio. But obviously, mate, we, we go out a fair bit every every weekend. So, uh-oh, we're getting... Hang on, just wait. We're getting we're just stormed in with We've got, chicks. <laughs> got, got a couple of chicks who are just walking straight past <laughs> the barricades. They're looking for Big Ed. <laughs> <laughs> He's a chick magnet. He's a chick magnet. Anyway, yeah, I can't hear. I can't hear <laughs> what shit's saying. <laughs> but um, oh, what was I saying? Eddie, mate, we we go out a fair fucking bit. Mate. Yes, we do, and we drink a fair bit. But we, we need we need to teach Jake the ways of going out. Give us the rundown of a good night out. How to go about it? A, 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 even no, actually, folks just on a good good festival. How do you okay. go? How do you go about it, Big Ed? How do so you go about it? As we all know, I'm a pretty heavy drinker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how many drinks do you need at praise? Um, how, what's your average? I'd say 15 to get me tipsy. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. 15 standards? Yes, 15 standards. That is correct. And Eddie, I reckon the craziest thing, I think I've mentioned this on the show before. One time we were at Crown in a hotel room and um, I was drinking like Smirnoff Cruises or whatever. Yeah. And Eddie was just drinking vodka, like cup, like this, as big as this Red Bull cup. Just straight vodka and ice. It's impressive. Oh, we love that. We love you that. You know why that we, is I only drink straight vodka? Low calories. Okay. Because oh. I did notice, even when you come <laughs> over, you come over to watch the footy a couple of weeks ago, I've got a couple of beers and I'm holding the beers. You know, you sip from your beer. That's right. Me and Eddie were having a chat. Eddie is doing the same thing, but he's holding a bottle of Smirnoff <laughs> and he's just putting the thing back. He's sipping from the gag. Swig for swig with me. <laughs> What's your favorite vodka brand, Eddie? Um, 
I'm a usually a cheap person, probably a Smirnoff Classic. Yep. Yeah, you yeah. can't go wrong. But yeah, so last seasons, um, I had a bit too many. I think I finished a whole bottle of vodka. Yep. And before we left, I did scull a bottle of wine. Oh, huge. Jesus. Just to top it. Yeah, it <laughs> just because a whole bottle of vodka well? isn't quite enough. You need that last little <laughs> bit of nursing from the red wine. Did it come up? Um, it did not come up, surprisingly. I've only seen Eddie be written off once before. And this was actually that night at Crown. I've only seen him be written <laughs> off once. And that same night, he revived himself once. He went down to like um, the, uh, some food place downstairs. Had yeah, dinner, yeah. And he revived himself for the dinner. Like He was in the bathtub throwing up naked. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, so nice. revived, That's a good visual. Revived himself, around. came to dinner, had a few more drinks, went back to the hotel room. Another ride off. Left him for 30 minutes. We were like, we got to go to the club. It's like, you do you. Yeah. And then blokes at court half an hour later. King. <laughs> How do you revive so quickly? So, I actually don't know. I'm blessed with uh, good blood alcohol... Tolerance. Tolerance, Tolerance. Yep. Yeah. sure. And um, what I've realised is if I yak, I'm ready to go. Yeah, okay, right. I'm not like one of those pussies who yak and, <laughs> oh, call me an Uber home, please. <laughs> I want to sleep in my bed. <laughs> Yeah, I hit huge. it on. Yeah, fuck sleeping huge. in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, we fun. like that. I like it, Eddie. What are your tips for today? Like, obviously, this is the first seasons that I've been at. What are your tips for the punters at home for how they can best enjoy themselves down here at season, Seasons at the Ozone Reserve? <laughs> uh, I'm probably not the best to ask. I do cause a lot of trouble, <laughs> but I have one uh, You have a lot thing. of fun in the process. Yes, That's I have one thing in my head which is not to give a fuck what anyone thinks about you. Nice, we and like And just that. enjoy your life. I love that. Perfect. Fantastic. I fucking love well, that, Well, fantastic words of wisdom. I've got one more question okay, for you. Okay, before we wrap. Obviously, you have a very close relationship with your parents, despite but yes. despite hosting unwanted praise. Yes, I do. When was the last time you kissed your mum on the lips, Eddie? Oh, it's a great question. Yeah. It's a great question. Probably today before I went out. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> a big, nice big <laughs> wet <laughs> one. <laughs> nice and, big. and daddy too? Oh, I love daddy. Yeah. <laughs> tongue in for dad, though, yeah? Uh, I Slip. don't know about the tongue, but <laughs> I'm happy to call my dad daddy. <laughs> I scream it out, in fact. I love calling I, my dad daddy. I call Eddie daddy. That's your, that's your nickname. <laughs> like, that's, yeah, that's just what we call each other, daddy. Absolutely unbelievable. Ed, thank you so much for joining us here on the MacPad Podcast live for Seasons at Ozone Reserve. You're an absolute superstar, Ed. Thank you for having me. Alrighty, boys, it's been absolutely fantastic to be here for season seasons at Ozone of Reserve. Course. We've had a fantastic time chatting to a few punters, chatting to a few other podcasts, boys. Fantastic. And get some insights from a couple of the girls as well. It's been absolutely unreal. Mm-hmm. But we can't end an episode no, of the can't. MacPay podcast without awarding our everyday hero. And this week's everyday hero has to go to a couple of the boys who have organised this whole thing for us, who have gotten us involved and who were actually on the podcast themselves only a couple of weeks ago. That's right. It goes to Taylor, Rule, yep. and Jared, Jared Primrose, and, yes. and of course, Rich. Uh, our boy. Our boy Rich. Yeah. Our boy Rich, who basically invited us. Yeah. Made sure that this whole thing went off without a single hitch, even yeah. though we... Supplied the tent, supplied the supplied space. Supplied everything. Did some fantastic marketing for us. Put us on the map. They quite literally put us on the map, and we're forever <laughs> grateful forever for that. Forever grateful. The boys have been fantastic. We've never had a single bad encounter with them. Not they one. couldn't. They couldn't. I don't, I don't think anyone ever has. They couldn't be more engaging. They couldn't be more lovely. No. And they're so accommodating to us. And basically everyone and that I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. They're fantastic. They've looked after us when we're going down to Matter. Mm-hmm. They've looked after us in their hotel suite. <laughs> We've dropped them <laughs> that off. That sounds a bit sus. <laughs> well, it, mate. Who well, you're knows, not wrong. <laughs> who knows where tonight might take us. Hell yeah. But for the boys, to Taylor, to Jared, thank you so much, boys. To Richard. To Richard. Thank you all so much for allowing us to be part of and this p- festival. Yeah. And for putting on such a great party for everyone. Oh, oh yeah. Because they've, some, they've, they've provided fun for thousands and thousands and thousands of people Dead for sad. many, many years. Through the through the rain, through the through the tears. And they the explained how hard it was to pull it up last year. Now obviously when an event is of that nature and it gets quite irky in the last few minutes, you've got to remember people's livelihoods are at stake. Yep. The festival might not go ahead. Yep. But there are people who've invested in the festival and it's the likes of Taylor, it's the likes of Jared, it's the likes of Richard who work tirelessly to put this whole thing together so that thousands of people can come down, get pissed and enjoy themselves in a very, very safe environment. That's right. This is my first festival. Yep. It's been absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I'll definitely be back for another season. Boys, Taylor and Jared, you're this week's Everyday Hero. 
All right, boys, we're going to wrap things up there. It's been an absolute pleasure to be down at the Ozone Reserve for the season's season opener yes. Yes. at Seasons. Time to go shoot some more videos and then party hard, oh, boys. 100%. It's going to be good fun. We'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone who's been involved, everyone that's shared anything on their socials, anyone who's liked anything, anyone who's been involved whatsoever. It's been an absolute pleasure. That's right. To have you on board, boys. Until we do this this time next week, it'll probably be in a bit of a different setting. I'm not gonna lie. Hope so. A bit more quiet. Stay yeah. blessed. Stay safe, man. Always remember to go give your mama a hug. It's tough now, but certainly not forever.